Today, I'm gonna to show you how I set my fishing kayak up for muskie. Now, you may not own a Jackson U-Pick, but the principles are gonna remain the same. You're still trying to land a big fish, and there's complications with that. So, I'll show you what's worked for me so far. The first thing, you wanna keep your deck clear for your muskie net. So, I always keep my muskie net up on the bow. That will stay up here, and I kind of stack the net here. And then the handle usually slides underneath the kayak seat. And you want this to be free of obstacles. You don't want your net to be getting hung up on stuff on the edges. Second, you want to have room for your figure eights. You don't want stuff hanging off the side, so you want to try and minimize that as much as possible. For that reason, I've actually put my fishing finder, my fishing finder? So for that reason, I put the graph for my fish finder right up here, up front in the center, so that it's not hanging off the edge and creating another obstacle for my figure eight. You wanna maximize your chance of catching this fish, obviously. So you don't want anything in the way of you performing your figure eight, because a proper figure eight can mean the difference of landing that fish or not. I don't even put a rod holder on the side. My rod holder will actually go in the middle and just off-centered a little bit. This isn't really used for trolling. I don't do a lot of trolling for muskie out of my kayak because it's a paddle kayak. This is just kind of like a staging ground for, for the rod that I'm currently using. So I'll rest the, the tip of it just in between the Omega opening there. And if I do want to do a bit of trolling, I mean, that is an option. I can always put that in and then just adjust the angle to, to where I want it to be trolling from. I then put my my phone holder off to the side here. And on here, I'll usually have like Navionics or other kind of depth charts, or I'll pull up the weather so I know what's coming my way. Now, not all fishing kayaks have the center rail, so it could be a little bit difficult for you to do, but if you take a look at the different attachments that are available from Yak Attack, uh, there's different extensions and adapters that you should be able to make something work for you. Frontnack Outfitters actually has a huge selection of all of that stuff, so you can get creative, check out the link below, and see what they have to offer. The one thing that I can't seem to get off the side of the boat is my paddle. I've got the paddle holder on the side here. Now it does keep it fairly close to the boat, which is nice. So I can do my figure eights and bring it in close to the boat. I just have to make sure that I'm not getting hooked into here and that the fishing line doesn't go into here. Part of the other reason that you don't want a bunch of stuff on the side of your kayak is when you hook into one of these fish, they kind of take control. you don't really have control over where they're gonna go in the water. So they're gonna go underneath you, they're gonna go all around you, they're gonna take off. You don't want that fishing line getting hooked on something and potentially breaking off. And if you can't avoid having something on the side of your fishing kayak, try and not use your good side. What's your good side? It's the side that offers you the best grip with your rod. When you're holding your fishing rod, you've got a weak point on your grip, which is right here. Where your fingers meet up, that is the weakest point of your grip. So if the fishing rod is to be pulled towards that weak point, you're most likely to have that slip out if, if you get surprised and rocked by a muskie. But if you get pulled the other way towards your good side, um, you're gonna have the butt of the rod hit onto the inside of your body and you're gonna have this as a better grip. Which is why when I'm fishing, I try and practice certain types of boat control where I'm always casting off of the right side of my fishing kayak. I'm a left-handed angler. I hold the rod in my right side, so I want to fish preferably off the right side of my kayak. If you're a right-handed angler and you hold the rod in your left hand, then you want to be fishing off the left side of your boat for that same reason. You get better grip strength. The other principle that you want to think about when you're setting your fishing kayak up for muskie. It's not about maximizing your chance of catching the fish, it's also about maximizing conservation. If you're fishing for muskie, you know conservation is super important. So I always keep my, my release tools on hand. I've got this nice big deep dish Plano box with like only one compartment. I have all my release tools in here, but I don't keep them in here. Not all of them at least. I take out my hook cutters and my long nose pliers. Put the long nose pliers on the left and I have a, a tether here and maybe I'll make a video showing you how I do this. But uh, so I have a tether on the side, I'll hook that into the boat or at least put this around my wrist when I'm dealing with the fish. And then I have my nipex, my hook cutters, long, long handled nipex. I have these on a tether as well because I do not want to be dropping these in the lake. Hey, do you like uh, kayak fishing, musky fishing or adventure fishing? Maybe you should consider hitting that subscribe button. When you're going out on the water, it can be easy to Forget about some of the important things. <laughs> By law, in Canada at least, you need 50 feet of floating rope on your boat. So this is what they use for whitewater paddling and other kind of 
water rescues. You can get this at Front Knack Outfitters. I keep the throw bag just strapped to the chair. This way, as long as I don't forget my chair, which has happened. As long as I don't forget my chair, I'll have that throw bag. So when you're musky fishing, as you know, your trophy is that photo. The trophy is that video. So right behind my seat, I have, I think this is the boom stick or I don't know, but I've got a huge camera attachment on here. Nice tall one goes overneath, over top of my shoulder. But because of these quick uh, lock and load attachments, I can actually switch this camera over to this side easily. I can bring the camera up front up here so I can get that nice front view shot. It's uh, pretty versatile and sweet. Of course, I'm not going fishing with just one rod. So I've got two rod holders on the back here. And if you're looking for a recommendation, there are three or four different rod holders from Yak Attack. And for musky rods, for sitting on the back like this, I recommend this one. I think this is called the AR tube, but this is probably the only one that actually will keep the butt of my rod off of the bottom of the kayak. Otherwise, the butt of the rod goes all the way down and, and doesn't actually sit properly in the rod holder. These other ones are not as great as this AR tube for these long handled reels, rods. Got my two rods behind me. I like to kind of point them inwards. It reduces the chance of me actually catching it on the backswing. So have them going towards the center of the boat at the, the tip. And then of course, I wouldn't be a musky angler if I didn't have a hundred different lures, right? On the back here, I have my Black Pack Pro, which holds a ton of baits. And then I have just a, a cam strap here, again, from Frontneck Outfitters. And I just strap down this to the back and there's no way that this is coming off. So then I have my baits right behind me, ready to go. So keep the side of your kayak free of obstacles for your figure eights and for those big fish moving around. Keep the bow of your deck free so you can land those fish easier when you're swinging your net around and you're not catching on anything. And get your release tools ready so you're not fumbling for anything and have them secure so you're not dropping them into the water. Hopefully that helps you make a decision on how you want to set your fishing kayak up for muskie. And uh, yeah, have fun fishing. We'll catch you later.